group of kids, a group of Asian kids sitting together. They're all going to sit together. Then you're going to see a, kid, a group of black kids, and they're going to be sitting together. And then someone's going to walk up and say, why do all the Asian kids sit together? Or why do all the black kids sit together? Let me help you. Why do all the white kids sit together? Don't ask why all the Asian kids are sitting together. They're sitting together because they have some commonality to each other. They understand one another. So if you want to break it up, you go sit with them. They're not going to say, oh, no, 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 no. This is Asian only. <laughs> you can't sit with us. That's not going to happen. And it, when I was in college, the same thing would happen. And I would, it, would, it would mystify me and say, why is it that the groups all sit together in the same room, but they will find a way to say, we're going to sit here, we're going to sit here, we're going to sit here, and no one's going to interact. The only place it interacted was in sports. The basketball team sat together. The football team sat together. And because it was diverse by nature, there was diversity. So my challenge to you, to the students that are, in, in, that are assembled here, is tomorrow morning, when you go into your dining hall, find someone who looks someone different than you and sit next to the person who looks different than you and engage that person and find out more about that person. Because anybody can sit with everybody who's just like them. And we don't move forward as a country when everyone looks to do just what makes them comfortable.